What's going on guys, it's Ben here, welcome back to another video. Now, I'm actually recording this intro after the match, um, as you can tell by different clothing to what you'll see in the game later. But, um, I forgot to record an intro because we were that rushed, like I literally turned up and Silver Lining was playing, I'm like, oh, I'll just go. Um, I'm not going to give you spoilers, although you probably will know what the score was already because it's probably going to come out midway through Soccer Saturday, potentially. But no, um... Yeah, we, we're heading off to Villa Park, or have head off, have been to Villa Park to watch Villa Bolton. And uh, I'm going to be honest with my, what my prediction was. My prediction was 3-0 to Aston Villa, Jack Grealish to score first. And uh, you just have to wait and see how, how close I was to it. And obviously, if you already know, eh, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'll see you. Actually, the next day, as you can tell by the weather, uh, it, we got back really late, and it was a Friday night, and I was just so tired. I'm having to record this outside because, like, there's a cleaner in the house or whatever, or someone's like doing the stairs, and uh, it's making a lot of noise, and I don't really want to disturb them. 
So unfortunately, you're gonna have to put up with the wind unless you want to hear like vacuuming or whatever. So, what was my thoughts on the Villa Bolton match then? Because obviously that's what we're all here for. I thought it was brilliant. I really thought every player was alert, switched on. Every player was really ready, and uh, we looked like we we had a solid team. You know, we we looked like the team that we were at the end of last year. Uh, that made it to, to that playoff final, you know, and obviously we're missing some key players in, in, in Terry and, and, and Johnston. And it's clear that Nyland isn't on the same level as, as Johnston, but obviously we've got a new goalkeeping coach. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can keep things up to scratch uh, in terms of defence. And obviously John Terry coming in and sorting out that back four seems to be helping. You know, Chester, man of the match, you know, it's such a good game. Um, obviously got his goal, had another one disallowed for offside. I think it was probably offside for the second goal more than the first goal. But it doesn't matter because we'd have won either way. But Chester gets his second goal or third goal of the season, I don't know. Um, really good game. Uh, Grealish, his goal was so long due and um, just in general I thought, yeah, you know, he, he was so ready for the game. And I haven't actually had a chance to record an intro for this video. Um, but my prediction was going to be, uh, I think it was 3-0 Grealish to score first. Um, I got the Grealish goal right. He's play he played too well against QPR and too well against Norwich not to, to score. And geez, the wind is loud. Sorry, um, but no, I thought Tammy Abraham had a really good game again, as normal. Um, his work rate was 100%. And if you look at the, the skill and the movement uh, to get to play the ball through for Grealish's goal, is you know, class. But last, he came on the pitch and he was a rocket, absolutely rocket. And if he plays like he did, you know, in, for example, the game against Preston, the game today, when he's full fitness, I don't think any team has a chance to, to keep a clean sheet against us. Abraham, you know, McGinn, Grealish, Balassi, El Mohamedi, El Ghazi, Kodja, all those seven attacking players who are just too good to not score. Um, you know, Hurahan as well, potentially. And the way Chester's going this season, even James Chester maybe. But no, I think we have that good of an attack this season. I don't think any teams can be able to keep a, sheet, a clean sheet. And to be fair to QPR, when they did get their clean sheet, they were touch tight marking at the back. And obviously I, I play football for my school football team and I'm a defender. Looking at the way QPR set up and the way QPR defended, they just isolated us. We had no chance to get through. Um, but no, I thought, quality game. We... we played really well um and just, yeah <laughs> really really happy you know um i just want to just sort of say look as well um we're still in it you know everyone looks at the position of the table 13th it's not a good position to be in at this stage we're eight points off the top of the table give it three games time i know we're expect every team above us has to lose but we give it three games time we could be playoff places easy you know, this championship keeps twisting and turning. I feel like we're still a contender. Maybe not automatic promotion because I think Sheffield United, West Brom even, Leeds, Middlesbrough, they are very strong as well. Um, we have some very big games coming up. We've got Nottingham Forest, we've got Birmingham City, um, we've got West Brom, you know, we've got Leeds, we've got Middlesbrough coming up in the next two months. And it's important that we get points out of those games. Um, but no, I think in general, we, we played really well. Um, Chester was a deserved man of the match. I thought McGinn had a very good game as well. As normal, I don't think I can fault McGinn at all this season. McGinn has he's, he's just been too good. Um, and it, it showed because teams are starting to foul him a little bit more because they know he's a threat on the ball. Uh, but no, uh, just a short little analysis, really. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!